Hi, how are you? I'm Luke and thank you so much for watching this video. As you may know, I'm a writer and I'm currently out in the National Park in Latvia near a place called Sigulda. Don't think it's pronounced like that. <laughs> no, I came out here today on the train. It's about an hour and 20 minutes from Riga where I've been staying for the last week or so. Um, I came out here because there's some beautiful castles and some wonderful <coughs> sort of panoramic views across this beautiful part of the country. However, when I got up this morning, it was grey and it was raining and it was misty and I thought, you know what, I'm going to go anyway. <laughs> I'm going to get on the train and I'm going to go anyway, because I'd planned to, I'd thought about it. So instead of climbing the mountains, you can see one of the hills there behind me, up there. Instead of climbing up there and looking at the, uh, the panoramic viewpoints behind the mist, I'm walking alongside by the river. The river's just over there to my left. I walk along here for an hour or so, walk back to the little village, the little town that the train stops at, go to a pub, buy a beer, and read a book, I think. That's the plan. Oh, the car's just coming. Just step in for a moment. I was surprised to see cars on this little track actually because it's a tiny little track that I thought was just for walkers and cyclists and stuff but that guy powered on past. I was going to talk to you really quickly today about my writing process, the way I put my books together because actually a bit like my plans today, <laughs> coming over here and then not being able to do what I wanted to, they're always changing. So far and I've written I mean, I've got my fourth novel, fifth book, coming out um, next month, New York. So far, not one of them has followed the same sort of pattern. But I do feel that they're slowly inching towards a pattern. Now I do quite a lot of planning. I plan out the story. I plan out the main beats of the story. And that allows me to sort of look through, look across the story, and really think about whether it works. When I wrote my first novel, I wrote a lot of it and a lot of it ended up being cut, being re-edited very heavily because I didn't know at that stage what made a good story. I wasn't sure whether it all sort of lined up and I wrote myself into a lot of corners in various places. So now, by doing that outline and working that out in advance, I'm able to read through that very quickly and decide whether it works or not. And that's been really helpful. So then when I actually sit down to write the thing, I can do that quite quickly, I can do that focusing on actually what happens. After that, quite often when I've got that rough first draft, it's normally very rough, <laughs> I've got that rough first draft, I'll um, put that aside for a couple of months and work on something else, then come back to that. And that break really allows me to have a bit of headspace, to think about, you know, let those ideas percolate, let those ideas sort of make sense to me. And I'll come back to that a little while later and it will, it will seem a lot clearer. And then I might have a couple more read-throughs, then it goes off to an editor, then it goes to my team of people who, who sort of pre-read, and then finally it gets released. Sometimes that can take months, sometimes that can take weeks, other times that can take years. <laughs> I just don't know. But I'm thinking over time that's getting, that's getting quicker, which is a good thing. I mean, I want to be able to write as quickly while still enjoying the process as possible. My dream, I've got a dream at the moment, um, I love travel obviously, I've talked about that in a previous video, and my books show that. Look at this beautiful little cottage here, how nice is that? It's lovely isn't it? And my, um, my books show that. My dream, either next year 2021 or maybe the year after, is to go to a place where the book is set, live there for a month, maybe six weeks, and write the book entirely whilst I'm at that place. That's the dream. We'll see if that, if I can, uh, if I can make that happen over the course of the next couple of years. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching this today. It's lovely to share these things with you and the sort of places that I am. I'm really enjoying that. I hope you're well, and I look forward to sharing. Oh, watching out for a puddle. <laughs> I'm look for, looking forward to sharing an adventure in one of my stories with you very soon. <laughs>